Hello and welcome friends. My name is Kari and I have realized something as a gardener uh, and an amateur gardener at that, that it must be some universal law that your favorite plant will be the hardest one to propagate. Honestly, that's probably just me because I have nothing but failed attempts at propagating this JFK tea rose for three years now. Nothing but failure. I have tried makeshift greenhouse methods with like a milk jug. I've tried using rooting hormones. I've tried all the things and they've been unsuccessful until now. Enter the sandbox. I haphazardly threw these cuttings into my kids play sand box a month ago and they are taking unbelievable it's a miracle third year in a row trying this rose and it worked and all i did was stick them in the sand and i didn't take care of them at all these roses have been such a pain to try and propagate but they're so beautiful and they smell amazing but look at these prices y'all that is way too much to be spending on roses every single year i could spend a thousand dollars on roses every year and it wouldn't be enough okay so let me kind of show you uh the process of why i think Think this worked okay so I've used play sand in this video play sand in act is actually perfectly suitable for the garden um, it was also an indirect sunlight so it was not getting direct Sun it wasn't in the middle of summer or anything so that it was getting dried out it was getting rain watered every week at least twice a week actually so Unbeknownst to me, it was actually setting up the perfect propagation system using sand as the medium instead of soil or water um, or vermiculite. Vermiculite is another popular one, but this was free because it was just in my backyard. So if your kid happens to have a sandbox that's not being used for the winter, I highly recommend you put it to good use in the winter by cutting all of your favorite plants. This is blackberry. Um, so once I saw that the roses were taking off i thought you know what let me get those blackberries in there let me get some fig trimmings in there even though it's in the middle of winter and we got down to the teens overnight numerous nights it did perfectly fine i did not take care of them at all as long as the trimmings were kept watered and they weren't going to dry out all I did was make sure to have a long enough stem. The thinner ones do work better. And then I trimmed off all the excess leaves and I put it in about halfway. So at least four inches of sand. And if you're not getting water, rain water in there, then just, you know, make sure you water it yourself. But that should be the only thing necessary. So we're in zone seven. And like I said, I didn't cover these. I didn't protect these from the, the winter weather at all. And they're taking off. I can't believe I'm only now trying this method. Apparently it can work for evergreens, for fruit trees, all kinds of berries, obviously. The sky is the limit. I'm sure it's not gonna work for everything, but holy tamole, I am gonna save at least $1,000 this year just by propagating all of these things with sand. My kids will forgive me this one time. By the way, if you're wondering why my cheeks look like a big old chipmunks, it's because I had oral surgery. If you have had success propagating in sand, then leave a comment down below letting me know what took off with this method. I would love to know what worked out for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will update you on this progress next time.